Hello guys and welcome back to iMyPhone YouTube channel. If your iPhone is low on calls by itself, this is really annoying and troubling, right? Now, this is probably an outcome of hardware or software issues and it can be very disappointing and annoying when you're on the call and you just can't hear the other person on the phone. But don't get more upset now. We have some solutions for when your volume is too low. Check them out, follow them, and hopefully you'll be out of trouble soon. If your iPhone volume has decreased, check out these instructions and carry them out and you can fix the problem. Adjust call volume. Before we start the tips below, we need to make sure that your volume is turned all the way up. If you haven't done this, we're gonna do it right now. All you need to do is press the volume up button on the side of your phone like that and you should see the volume goes up. Turn off phone noise cancellation. The enabled phone noise cancellation feature can lead to phone volume being too low. Therefore, if this feature is on, turn it off. Start with opening settings and go to the general option. From the next menu, tap on accessibility and get to the option of phone noise cancellation. Turn it off now by sliding the toggle switch. Clean iPhone speaker slot. You can take a toothpick and then clean the slot very gently, very slowly, and take the device out of the mess, take out the dirt, and it should be all good. Turn on Bluetooth and then turn it off. Here's the next thing you can try to increase your iPhone's volume. Head to the settings and scroll down the screen and look for Bluetooth option. When it is found, tap on it and toggle it on. For, wait for a couple seconds and turn it off again. Use speaker mode. The fifth tip to increase your iPhone's volume is to use speaker mode. Now, if you can hear what the people are saying clearly using speaker mode, then this is probably a software glitch on your device. If you can't hear anything clearly, then this is probably an issue within your hardware. Reset all settings. Sometimes settings can play a major role in your iPhone volume being too low like after an update and then realizing your iPhone volume is really low. So for our next suggestion, we're gonna reset the settings. To do this is very simple. Just scroll down and follow the steps. No, resetting all settings will erase your iPhone data, but it will fix the issue. So make sure you have all your data backed up. Tap settings to open it and go to general. Now look for the reset option and hit on it. Under the reset menu, click on reset all settings and confirm your actions by entering the passcode. Ultimate solution to fix iPhone call volume without data loss. In case the tips above didn't work, the ultimate solution is to use our professional iOS system recovery tool, FixPo. Powerful repair feature. You can fix not just iPhone problems such as stuck or iPhone low volume, frozen issues, black and white screen, Wi-Fi problems, fingerprint problems, GPS problem, but also the iTunes error, such as unknown error 2, error 1667, error 27, and so on. No data loss. The best thing about this tool is that it contains three amazing modes that assist users to get their iOS problem fixed. You won't be facing any data loss while using the standard mode and enter exit recovery mode. Full compatibility. You can use it easily either on your Mac or Windows computer. All iOS versions include iOS 14, 13, 12 are supported. Fully compatible with iOS devices including iPhone 6 and 6S, iPhone 7 and Plus, iPhone 8 and Plus, iPhone X, XR, XS, Max, iPhone 12 user. Let's understand how you can use this tool. Step one, launch the tool in your respective PC to begin the process. After opening, connect your iPhone with the computer using the digital cable. After when you connect the device successfully, you need to select the standard mode from the three modes given on the screen. Step two, after choosing this mode, it's time to put your device into DFU mode. To do this, just look at your screen and go along the instructions shown here. Step three, when you put your device into DFU mode, the program will detect your iPhone. Just hit on the download option and you will get the matching firmware. 
Step 4. After downloading, click on Start to Fix button and your device will start getting fixed in a while. It will restart later and be back to normal. Okay, that's it for today. If you learned anything or enjoyed our video, leave a like or a comment. See you next time.